Hey guys, I'm um, Miss Heath is here, and I'm going to do a video for you. And the video is going to be what's coming towards you this holiday season. I'm also going to do a video, and I'm going to put it in the community tab area for the contest. So, look in the community tab area for the contest. And you need to be subscribed to be a part of the contest. So, all of my subscribers, I thank you so much for subscribing thus far and checking out my content. And the ones who's not even subscribing, leave me likes on my videos. Thank you, guys. I would appreciate it if you could subscribe, but everything in due time. I'm like my sage if you want to know. So we have three pals. This is pal one. The Tarot of Dreams. If you see smoke billowing, it's between my weed and my sage. If you smoke, pull up with me and smoke. If you drink, get your drink and kick up your feet and see if you can get a message. So this is pal two. It's the Gilded Tarot. It's double-sided, so I, I'll show you the ma magician as well. So you have the High Priestess, and then you have the Magician. This is a card from the deck. Pal 3, you have the Light Sears. Here's a card. So, pick your pal, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, pal one, you're up. Again, remember to look inside the community box for the um, rules to the contest I'm doing. I do not have um, copyrights to the music in the background. And I'm going to start off with the Kipper deck, just to see what is coming towards you this holiday season. It could be, you could take it for your birthday. Happy birthday, Saggies. Sorry for that. Happy birthday. Hope you guys are enjoying yourself. It could be for your birthday. It could be for Christmas. It could be for the new year coming up. But just take it for how you want to take it. But I'm just, this reading is for what's coming towards you this holiday season. Okay, keep it for part one. What's coming towards them this holiday season? What is coming towards them this holiday season? Look in the description box for the um, time stamp, you guys. What is coming towards them this holiday season for Power 1 Gatekeepers? What do they need to know? What is coming towards them Gatekeepers for Power 1? Take what you need to take from this and leave what you don't need to leave. You know, if it doesn't apply to you, which you probably won't know because it's coming towards you. But um, just to let you know, readings that doesn't rec you don't really rec um, what's the word? If the reading doesn't go with you, that doesn't mean it's not going to happen. It could be past, present, and future. It could be like it already happened, or it didn't happen, or it's going to happen. So, so far we have despair, we have high honor, we have concern. What I'm getting out of this, someone that's high honor in your um, family or in your life is going to be in despair and in concern. Now, the person, it could be a, a father figure, it could be a grandfather, it could be an uncle, it could be a husband. It also could be a mother, a sister. A auntie or a grandmother because energy changes it interchange a female could turn into a male energy that's when we get aggressive or a male could turn into a female energy that's when they get more soft and nurturing and um, romantic so here's the high honor card so you have 25 on top of the high honor and 20 and then you have 33 on top of concern and then you have 32 on top of despair now 32 3 and 2 equals 5 5 equals changes whether you need to make a change or a change is coming. 25 equals 7. 7 to me is normally um, treachery in some way. Whether it's treachery in options, treachery in stealing things. So this is just different information I'm giving you to fit in for your situation if it fits in. 3 and 3 is 6. 6 is reminiscing. 6 is thinking about the past. So... You can use that however you need to use it. And now I'm going to clarify it with the um, 
Tarot of Dreams. Gatekeep, let me turn it up. Up oh, right. Tarot, okay, one second. Let me light my sage back. Because this energy is starting out kind of tricky already. So. Gatekeepers, why is the spear here for power one? Why? Because of faith and the empress. So the empress, somebody mom, somebody grandmother, however this female, this empress is fitting your life. An empress is a Libra or a Taurus energy. They, they, they haven't faith, but right now they in despair. Why are they in despair? Why is this person in despair and having faith? Thank you. Because of the four of wands, something is going, going on in your family structure or your house structure. Family could be um, your husband. Family could be your mother and father and cousins and stuff like that. Something is going on in the family structure. This is Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. What's going on in the family structure, gatekeepers, if you can give me some insight? Eight of Cups. Somebody walking away. Somebody, you guys probably have walked away from your family member. Or you've walked away from a family as far as your man. Take it as, when I say family, just take it as because it could be a relationship that you build and have children. Or it could be your family that you come from. It's a Pisces card also. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this is Pisces energy. So maybe you're Pisces. Or a water sign, and you're, the person you walked away is a fire sign or air sign, because the opposite of air is fire. Not the opposite of fire is air. Or this could be an earth sign too, because the opposite of a Pisces is a Virgo. What's going on with the high honor? Um, whoa. Ace of coins. What I'm saying is truth. All aces is truth. This is a um the high. Can I have more information? This is um. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Can I have more information with the Ace of Coins and the High Honor? Why is this? Why did the Ace of Coins come out with the High Honor? Magician. Somebody in High Honor is trying to um, manifest. This is Gemini energy. I'd like to say it's Gemini energy. People say it's Aries. So I say it's Gemini energy. Me. Particularly, I feel it's Gemini. It could be, it could be Sagittarius energy too, but I feel it's Gemini. Okay, back to this. This person in high honor in your life. High honor could be again a parent. It could be somebody that was in the military. It could be a doctor. It could be someone in high honor like that, a judge. But whoever this is in your family or in your life, they're trying to manifest a new beginning, a new um, grounded beginning, as far as. It could be an offer as far as a business deal. It could be an offer as far as trying to get this family unit back together. Can I have more information on this magician and this ace of coins? Gatekeepers. Can I have more information with this high honor, the magician and the ace of coins? Gatekeepers, what's going on with this magician? See? Told you. Six of Cups is here. I said it earlier. Yeah, I felt that energy. The Six of Cups, somebody's reminiscing on um the past. It could be a childhood they reminiscing on. It could be your mother reminiscing on when she raised you as a child. The sweet memories, the um, innocent memories. This is a, um, a Pisces, I mean, not a Pisces, this is a Scorpio um, moon card. No, sun, sorry, it's sun. It could be a moon too, it could be Scorpio moon. This person could be a Scorpio moon, it could have, just have strong Scorpio in a chart, um, chart, period. But this is what's happening. This person in high honor is reminiscing on this, and they're trying to manifest something grounded because you walked away from them. You're not dealing with them no more, and they're trying to have faith about this situation. Can you tell me more about the Six of Cups? The Six of Cups, again, is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But it's a, a Scorpio energy. 
can I have more about this? Um, one more card about this Six of Cups. Gatekeepers. The Three of Swords. They're heartbroken. But they're not thinking with, with, with their heart. They're thinking more logically how they can get back in your life. Libra, Gemini, um, Aquarius, but it's Libra energy. They, yeah, they're heartbroken, but they're not showing it. They're like ice, like an ice queen, but they're hurt. What's going on with the concern card? Why is the concern card here for power one, gatekeepers? The seven of coins came out. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Somebody is um, researching. And they're concerned that what they what they have tried already is not working. This is a Virgo Sun card. This is Virgo energy. Yeah, they concerned that this whatever they have done so far is not working to get in contact with you or reach out to you or message you. You're not responding. This card that just came out is the Lovers. It's a um, Cancer energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces card, but it's a. It could be somebody have cancer in Venus, but uh, this is cancer energy. It could be sun, moon, rising, north node, south node. It could be Venus. It could be, you know, um, Jupiter. Yeah. So the two of cups is somebody um, that wants to come together. It could be somebody at a distance as well. You could be somebody in a distance relationship. It could be someone that is at a distance and they're trying to figure out how to bring you guys together. Because uh, Two of Cups is a, a, a ordained love. You could look at it as like ordained through the universe. Not to say that, it, it, you know, some of you guys is probably ordained. Other of you is probably family that, you know, because it is like ordained love. Can you tell me more about the Two of Cups? Why is the Two of Cups in this um, Eight of um, Pentacles here? They paid your cup. Somebody wants to bring a love offer. Somebody that wants to say sorry. Somebody that wants to make peace. But this is also a child. Or it could be an adult that acts like a child emotionally. This is a person that's very young. Starting out. So it's a page. It's a child. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. The temperance. Sagittarius energy. They trying to temper this. Um, trying to temper it and balance it. Trying to balance the fire and the air. Trying to balance the logic and the impulsive, impulsivity. Palace of Swords. This is a Swords. What I'm saying is true. They want to bring logic into this. They, tell me more about the Ace of Swords. After this, I'm um, And then go to the next pile. The Nine of Coins. So this is the Ace of Swords and the Nine of... The Ace of Swords... The Ace of Swords, what I'm saying is true. They want to balance out, um, bring you a love or for apology or whatever. And then the Nine of Coins came out. The Nine of Coins is someone that's um, this Virgo energy. I like to say they bougie because this is the only way that I can just say with one word. Someone that smells good, look good. They opulent. They like finding things in life, whether it's food, clothes, trips. They very grounded in their financial situations. They probably a business owner or... They probably have a prominent position. This is who this person is. Can you tell me more about the Nine of Coins? And then I'm really done after this. I don't want to just leave it incomplete though. Tell me more about the Nine of Coins, gatekeepers. Why did the Nine of Coins pop out? Because of options, decisions. Whoever you are, you have decisions to go left or right with this person. You don't have to be bothered with this person. And I'm strongly thinking it's family, but it doesn't have to be family. It really doesn't have to be. But you have options, and they know you have options. This is a Leo, um, Sagittarius, and Aries card. They know you have options. At the bottom, the Wheel of Fortune. Told you. The Wheel is, on, uh, the wheel is in your favor. And the Hermit. Virgo energy. There's a lot of um, Virgo um, Pisces energy here. Yeah, it is. But yeah, you Hermit mode. You timed out. You put this person on the situation on timeout, whoever or whatever it is. You look in within yourself. What's good for you? What next move would be better for you? So if you have gotten anything out of this, you guys, I'd appreciate if you can subscribe if you're not subscribed. And if you want to be a part of the contest, you would need to subscribe and check my community tab. Until next time, take care.
Pile 2, you're up. Check the description box for the timestamp. And if you hear music in the background, I do not own copyrights to it. Now, to start your reading, I'm going to use the Kipper deck. And then I'm going to use the um, Guilty Tarot. So, gatekeepers, what's coming towards them this holiday season? This holiday season could be your birthday, it could be New Year's, it could be Christmas. And whatever information doesn't um, apply to you, leave it out. Because this is a, a um, general, and not all this information is going to apply to you. Remember, a man energy could be a female energy. Female energy could be a man energy, okay? Remember that. I smoke. If you smoke, pull up. Smoke with me. If you drink, kick up your feet. Have a drink. The energy, the um, smoke that you see billowing is between my my stage. Most likely, it's my stage. It's not gonna really be my weed smoke. It's gonna be my stage. That's why I'm lighting right now. Gatekeepers, what does Paul need to know? What's coming towards them? What's coming towards them, gatekeepers? Paul two. Sage want to take off. That's what's coming towards you. <laughs> A lot of fiery energy. Impulsivity. What's coming towards them? It says pathway. Number 35 is on the top. That equals an 8. Gatekeepers, what's coming towards them? What's coming towards power 2 gatekeepers? Secrets coming towards you. Some of y'all, anyway, because this is very secretive. All right. Oof. See, secrets and impulsivity. You probably find out some drama that's going on that you didn't know. It has pathway, it has main mail, and it has imprisonment. So, so far, it seems like a male, a main mail in your life is imprisoned, and they trying to. Forge a path to you to come towards you. Um, have um, um, I hate when my brain go blank. My brain went blank. It's gonna come back to me hopefully, and then I'll say it to you. But I don't want to burn time trying to think about it and wasting time and not doing your reading. What's the um? to cut your cards. I prepared them, but I never cut them. Uh, gatekeepers, why is this pathway here? What was coming towards, um, pile two, strength. What else is coming towards, um, pile two as far as the pathway? Four cups. Okay, this is pretty interesting. Pathway, four cups. Strength and four cups. Can I have what some? Wow, it came out. It wanted to pop out, but it didn't pop out. Imprisonment. Can I have something for imprisonment? Why is imprisonment here for pile two? Gatekeepers. Why oh, this pile came out like that? I'll take it. May mail. Can I have um, some info on this main mail? Who's this main mail? And what do they mean to pal two? Those two. So for starters, this main mail is a king of wands. And it's an empress here. So, hold up. Why is the empress here? Why is the empress here? Will of Fortune. Okay. So... What's coming towards you, the King of Wands is a, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. This person has a lot of Taurus energy in a chart. Um, and they're very fiery. This person is very fiery, very charming. They really like to explore. They like to have a, a lot of sex, even though they're the king. They mature, but they like to have a lot of sex. They're very creative, too. They can be very impulsive. And then you have the Empress which is a Libra Taurus energy, a mother or father, 
or this may, may male could be a female and masculine energy because you have two men but you could be it could be I will leave it that way because my brain just went another way. I'm going to bring it back and stay focused over here because I don't want to think of what I just, what just came, the download came to me. Um, the King of Wands and the Will of Fortune and the Empress. So the, the, let's look over here because the King of Wands is looking over here. So you have the Lovers, which is Gemini energy. You either have choices or you have someone that you passionately in love with that's in jail. You have a uh, Libra, Taurus, I mean, sorry, I don't know why Taurus came out, but Taurus energy is on a broad board. You have Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy. Somebody's in a head, burdened, trying to use wisdom, trying to use their intuition about this, this choices, this love is called, whether it's choices or whether you're in a relationship and you, the person is in jail. King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is a king, somebody very mature. It could be a father, grandfather. It could be a husband. They're looking at this person that um, is trying to use their intuition and trying to guard themselves. And yeah, this king of swords is looking at them. And the stars here, Aquarius. This is Aquarius energy. This is a visionary. Whoever this person is that's imprisoned with the, the lovers here, Whoever this is looking at you guys, if you're the one that's in deep thought or you watching somebody in deep thought, you want to balance, you want to balance something with them. Let me see something here. You have the four cups and then you have the seven of swords in reverse. Somebody been caught doing something they shouldn't have been doing, whether it's stealing, lying, stealing and lying. They've been caught. Now, the four, uh, want, this is, again, Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Um, you have the four of cups here, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer energy. Now, it had the strength, then the four of cups, and then the seven of swords in reverse, and then a pathway. You have a pathway to, to find the strength to walk away from any type of burdens that are here. Whoever's imprisoned behind these choices or this lover that you're with, because the nine of swords is here and then the imprisonment is here and then the lovers is here. It's like you have choices. You in deep thought about this. Deep, deep thought about this. Why is the lover's card here, gatekeepers? The magician. Gemini energy. Strong Gemini energy here. Why is, who's this person in, is this, wait. Who's imprisoned? Who's imprisoned here, gatekeepers? Page of Cups. Somebody who wants to bring an apology to you. Maybe somebody is literally in prison and you stop talking to them and they're trying to um, manifest some type of communication with you. Because Swartz is communication, even though the, um, the um, Swartz is thinking. It's not communication. Eight of Wands and stuff like that is communication. But Swartz is thinking, so it's like they're trying to manifest options on how to balance something with you. And they've been caught, and you you don't even want to be bothered with them. you bored right here. It looks like you and this person has a lack. They're bored of these options. They, they have three cups right here. They have a lot of partying they can go out and do, but they're not focused on it. It looks like the universe is either trying to give them something or this person that has stolen from you and been caught is a very forceful person. And you're finding the strength to walk away from them. Because this, this side is exiting the, 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 the scene. And this king of wands, this main male, is watching you exit the scene. And then you have somebody as a page of cups, side note, that's in prison, that want to come towards this main male and bring him a love offer or a, a apology. I don't know if it's same-sex relationships going on here or something like that. There's the high priestess at the bottom, Pisces. Whoever, pow to, you know what's going on. High, pri high priestess know everything, says nothing. So you guys know what's going on. And the sun is here. Somebody's been exposed. Somebody's been exposed some way, somehow. What's the impress here? And then I'm going to end this reading. What's the impress about, gatekeepers? Why is the impress here with the Wheel of Fortune and the King of Wands? Why is this impress here? 
the page of pentacles it's a bunch of children on here I don't know if somebody had a child. The page of Pentacles, I said, why is the Empress here? And the page of Pentacles popped out. I don't know. I don't. Then you have somebody resting at the bottom. Yeah, somebody immature want to bring a, um, a, a, a grounded love offer to this Empress. And the Empress looks like she's not going for it. So the Empress over here is the King of Wands and the main male. You standing in your dominant energy. And you have somebody, a child just... Um, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn who wants to bring an offer to you, a grounded offer, but no, I don't think it's grounded. Again, look, <laughs> you just see how I turned it and it went from the bottom of the deck to the top of the deck. You know what's going on here. I'm going to end it. If you guys have gotten something from it, um, please like and subscribe. Look in the community box for the rules to the um, contest. Take care. Pile three, you're up. If you smoke, come pull up and smoke with me. If you drink, Pull up what you drink, kick up your feet, figure out if you can get some info on your situation. Look in the timestamp for, look in the timestamp, what the hell. Look inside the description box for the timestamp. If you're interested in the contest, look inside the um, community box, community tab section, and you have to be um, subscribed. Thank you for my subscribers who come through and watch my content and decided to subscribe. Thank you for the people who come through and like my videos. And at one point, hopefully, in all due time, you will subscribe. The music in the background, I don't have any rights to it. I'm going to start off with the Kipper deck. And the title today is What's Coming Towards You This Holiday Season. Happy birthday, Saggies. Hope you're enjoying your season. Now, this could be for your birthday. It could be for Christmas. It could be for New Year's. It's just what's coming towards you. So, for Power 3 Gatekeepers, what's coming towards them? What's coming towards them, Gatekeepers? What does Power 3 need to know that's coming towards them? The Lover's card, you have choices or you have somebody in love coming towards you. You can have a false start coming towards you. Privileged lady. Lovers and privileged lady. That's cute so far. One last card. What's coming towards pal three? If you've been called to go on the other um, pals for info, you could go to them. Ooh. Wealthy man. How cute. I like this for you guys. So, so far you have choices. You a privileged lady. And then you have a pri privileged little lady. A wealthy man. So the wealthy man and privileged ladies normally um, husband and wife or mates, girlfriend, boyfriend, however you want to put it. So gatekeepers, what's going on with the lover's card? Can you tell me information about the lover's card in regards to power three and what's coming towards them for this holiday season? No, I don't want to go that route. Who's this wealthy man for power three? Gatekeepers, who's this wealthy man for power three? No. There's too much going on. Well. No, it's too many cards. Who's... Shh. One second. Who's this wealthy man to power three, gatekeepers? And what does he want with the privileged lady? Thank you. Someone that's a Pisces or a Libra, Gemini, um, Aquarius. This person is walking away from burdens. He's taking a, a break. And walking away from burdens. Or he's tied up in a situation and it's burdening him. Who's this privileged lady for power three? Somebody at, with the will of fortune. Somebody that has everything going in her favor. Everything going in your favor. What is the... Um, give me one. Whoa. I'm going I'm to leave that there for a second. What is going on with this privileged lady? 
the eight of pentacles the eight of pentacles is somebody that's researching something maybe this you're the perfect lady and you have your own business or you're working on your business or you at or you have a business and you at the top of the wheel like you you bringing in a lot of for, fortune everything is going well for you or you could be again the privileged lady and you working on a business and you're doing a lot of research right now you could probably come be having like a holistic business or a spiritual business the emperor wanted to come out you're somebody that's very serious about your business you're very grounded very calculated what's the lovers here for okay keep us watch the lovers here for pal three you have choices it looks like more like choices the ten of wands is like here it's like you burdened you have choices and four cups is here boredom there's boredom here it's like you have a good thing going but you bored with it who's this four cups to um pow pow somebody reminiscing somebody thinking about the past yeah this is choices choices somebody is forging their own past and it's Whoever um, you guys are, Four Cups, Aries, I mean, sorry for saying Aries, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, y'all y'all, kind of burdened behind the person leaving you and forging, or you leaving this person, and the person is burdened by you leaving them, and they think about the childhood, times when times was good. It could be a best friend of yours, or somebody you grew up with, they thinking about the past, about when everything was good, everything was loving and nurturing and trusting and but I'm thinking it could be a friend or it could be a mother or a father or someone who raised you this would it look like somebody that raised you what's going on with this um tennis swords why the tennis swords here is here for pal three why is the tennis swords in the hanging in here for pal three Great keepers can I have insight On the tennis walls. Why is the tennis walls here? Hey, keepers. The high priestess wanted to pop out like you know what's going on. If you've been joining the other pals, go to other pals. Because you're going to get insight from other pals. The empress wanted to pop out. And then you have the six of pentacles. Oh, gosh. All these cards popped out. The empress, I mean, six of pentacles is somebody um who want to give even give or take. And the empress is someone that's... um. Like a mother, a Pisces, a nurturing person. Mothers of all mothers. She's very nurturing. She's very abundant. She's very creative. Who doesn't want to be with the Empress? Somebody is burdened behind not giving if, um, equal give and take um, to this Empress, and it's the wealthy man. He's burdened by not, it could be, this look like a mother or father, or like I said, a husband. If you have gotten something from this, please like and subscribe. Take care, because I don't want the battery to die on you guys.